Hello, welcome to our new content. Uh, this time, let's do uh, something different. So, medyo kakaiba to. That is upgra uh, upgrades uh, PV solar. So, this is for solar power calculations for residential. So, maganda to sa mga nagbabalak at pakapit ng solar. So, i-discuss natin ngayon ano ba yung mga Uh, kailangan ma-determine solar panels, uh, battery, inverter, saka yung uh, controller. Okay, so when we see upgrade, so stand alone siya uh, power supply through the solar. Walang connection dito yung utility or known as uh, Miralco or uh, cooperative sa, kung sa province ka. So to proceed, That is okay. Uh, we have this one to visualize what is the uh, schematic diagram for upgrade solar. So first, we have this one, the array, uh, solar panel. Then next is the charge controller, and then after that, the yung mga backup battery or battery bank, and then this is uh to yeah, inverter from DC electricity i convert niya sa AC electricity and then ito na yung bahay or home and then to visualize for the block diagram so solar panels ito na yon charge controller batteries inverter and then uh We have, uh, we have here the yung ano natin, yung aim natin. So first is the load calculations. So dapat ma-determine natin. Next is the solar panel estimates. So ilang solar panel ang kailangan natin ilagay. Third is the battery sizing. Fourth is the uh, inverter selection. So, mag-size up tayo ilang kilowatts yung need natin gamitin. Okay. Last is the uh, charge controller. So, let's determine ano yung capacity na kailangan natin gamitin. So, to continue, we have for load calculation. So, actually, daming uh, consequences but here Uh, meron tayong specific load na pwede natin gawing example. Actually, marami naman pwede natin gamitin. But for this, is ito yung almost uh, ginagamit or known as typical. So, description. Second column is what it So, hours use. Ilang oras mo siya gamitin. And then, total energy consume. So, yung ating load, ang sabi ko is basic load. So, lightings, ito yung ilaw. Outlets, uh, electric pan, uh, aircon unit, we have oven, and then the refrigerator. So, yung wattles ng lighting, actually, hindi siya isang ilaw. Assume na ito na lahat ng ilaw is, yung wattles niya is uh, 150 watts. Okay. And then, ilang oras mo siya gamitin sa isang araw let us say assume tayo ng 8 hours and then total energy consume i-multiply mo lang to 150 times 8 you can have 1200 watt hours for outlets yung mga saksakan so let us say 500 watts uh, 8 hours mo rin siyang ginagamit so to get the total energy that is 4000 watt hours electric pan actually daming klase so, mayroong ceiling pan exhaust pan So, 8 hours mo rin siyang ginamit. So, multiply that is 400 watt hour. Aircon unit, mas mabigat yung uh, load ng aircon. So, 1,200 wattles. Then, hours use, uh, 10 hours. Total energy is 12,000 watt hours. For the oven, uh, assume na 3 hours mo lang siya gamitin. Actually, din naman... Um, or madalang ka lang magluto minsan. So, we have 1,800 watt hours. For the refrigerator, so, yung ref, if 
mag-stack ka ng food uh, sa mo something ano pwedeng pagkain cans so dapat 24 hours mo siya gamitin because pag you say 12 hours lang baka masira yung mga pagkain or gusto say isang araw mo siya gamitin so 24 hours then total energy niya is uh, 6 uh, 16,800 uh, watt hours okay and to get the total we have total wattage si add mo lang tong wattage niya that is 3,200 watts the energy is 36,200 watts and then let's use this value ito yung gamitin natin to uh, to calculate or to estimate the number of panels batteries yung nabanggit ko kanina okay total wattage is 30, uh, 3,200 total energy consumed is 36,200 watt hours okay so, okay so for the so solar panel estimate so uh, pump calculations per day yung ginawa natin uh, kanina so we have total wattage of 3,200 watts total energy consumed is 36,200 watt hour uh, to do we have this formula solar panel wattage That is total energy per day over uh, sunshine hours, it times mo siya ng efficiency. Okay, so we have here formula. And then we have this value, the total energy natin per day is 36,200 watt hours. So yung sunshine hours is 6 hours. So, so saan mo yung kinuha? Okay, so based from the uh, Philippines to, so annual sun hours, ibig sabihin nito yung average na yung araw isisikat sa uh, yung sun, sisikat sa isang araw ano yung uh, actually uh, average the time na yung pwede siyang mag uh, produce ng direct heat, so did you observe that itong category na to 6 to 6.5 so almost dilaw to uh, kung 7 medyo madalang lang but majority is 6 to 6.5 hours so from our actually estimate so we we can have this one 6 hours lang tayo okay assuming lang to but pwede mo siyang ma-test dun sa mismong area nyo okay for the efficiency Actually, madami rin kinakonsider. We have battery efficiency, assume 90%. Inverter efficiency, 95%. And other uh, so controller, cable efficiency, assume as 85%. So, we can have 0.73 yung ating efficiency. Okay. And then, to do, so actually, divide mo lang to 36,200 over 6 and then 0.73 so we have 8,264 watts or 8.2 kilowatts so ito yung gamitin natin to determine the number of solar panels okay so yung gamitin natin sa design is 5,000 watts yung uh, power ng isang panel so actually marami namang range of 50 watts 100 200 to 50 400 6, meron pa 600 watts but dito sa design it's say 500 watts pero you can select on your own na yung pwede mong gamitin uh, wattage ng solar panel okay so ito lang yung formula 8264 over 500 watts so we have Actually, 16.52 panels or you can say 17 panels yung pwede mong gamitin. Medyo merong, may butal pero i-ano mo na, i-run up. Let's say 17 panels. Okay, so yung bibilhin mong uh, para dun sa 8,264 watts. So, meron kang 17 panels na 500 watts. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, okay, 17. So, itong 17 panel, so, i-compare mo rin based doon sa site, doon sa location ng pagdalagyan mo, na itong 17 panels is kasi siya sa roof or sa bubong mo kung saan mo siya pwedeng i-install. Okay, so please consider that. Okay, so next is the yung ating tally or sheet. So, meron tayong load calculations. And then, yung solar panels estimates is 16 pieces of 500 watts panels. So, next natin is ito, yung battery sizing. So, for the battery sizing, let's, let's consider yung uh, data na ginawa natin kanina. So, load calculations, total wattage at saka sui. Uh, total energy so the formula is to get the total battery capacity in terms ampere hour so that is total energy per day and then battery voltage dip of discharge and then yung battery efficiency so we have uh, total energy is 36,200 watts so battery voltage is 48 volts so you Let's assume na yung battery na gamitin natin is 48 volts. So we have heard the data. So 48 volts. And then yung dip of discharge or DOD is uh, usable is 80%. And then yung battery efficiency. So let's assume na uh, 0.85 yung gamitin natin. So we can have uh, total of 1,109 ampere hour. So, yun yung uh, total battery ampere hour. So, let's estimate kung ilang peraso. And then, from that, so we have uh, number of battery. So, that is total battery capacity times backup day. Then, then battery yung ampere hour. Okay. So, we have 1,109. So, yung ating backup day is... Uh, Let's say, dalawang araw. So, this, so pwede ka rin mag-assume o anong pwede mong gamitin. Itong 3 hours, 5 hours. So, pag dumami yung number of days, so, as uh, I expect na marami yung batteries na kailangan mo. But from here is, assume tayo ng dalawang araw. Okay, so, yung ating uh, battery ampere hour, so, yung ginamit natin is 48 volts and then 500 ampere hours. So, meron din 300 ampere hours. So, lithium ion battery pack data sheet. So, actually, depende sa design talaga. But, from here, so we consider is 500 ampere hour. If you use 300 hours, so, okay lang sa'yo. Okay lang. So, depende pa rin sa pag-design mo. So, we have 4.43 batteries. So, meron total so let's say 5 batteries yung kailangan mo. Okay, so we have 2, 4, and then 5. You need 5 batteries. So, okay, so we're done sa battery sizing. Again, we have sa ating tally is 5 sets na 48 volts, 500 ampere hour batteries. Next is the bat uh, no, no, inverter selection. So, for the inverter selection, so, again, uh, based sa ating data, total wattage of 3,200 watts. So, to get for the inverter total power, so total wattage per day, and then safety factor, also the inverter efficiency. So, let's assume the 95%. Actually, depende pa rin to dun sa supplier mo. So, you can check this rating ito sa kanyang efficiency so i-check mo rin yan and then to do so 3200 watts safety factor natin is 1.25 that is coming from NAC so safety factor 1.25 should be 25% to 30% high okay from here let's consider uh, 25% okay so we can have 
uh, 4,210 watts so wala namang watts na ganyan let's say 5 kilowatts yung gamitin mo for the inverter selection again so we're done on the the calculation so there are panels but the resizing inverter selection is we have 5 kilowatts okay lastly is the charge controller so for the charge controller so we have uh, yung KB natin uh, total solar panel power we have 17 panels times 500 watts so we have 8500 watts then yung atin uh, battery bank voltage is 48 volts okay so for the to get the charge controller current we have uh, total solar panel power over the battery bank voltage we have 8500 over uh, 48 volts we can get uh, 177 amperes so yung charge controller natin dapat baka stand siya sa 177 amperes more than so dapat i-consider mo to sa design okay so we're done for the charge controller actually mabilis lang ginawa natin we're done already for the uh, specific solar pa ano uh, solar panels na pwede natin gamitin okay so To get for the summary of calculations, solar panels, meron tayong uh, 17 uh, seats of 500 watts. That is 167 upper charge controller. Uh, limang sets ng batteries. We have 5 kilowatt inverter. Para sa ating load na 3,200 watts or 36,200 watt hour. So, ito yung So, ito na yung parang black diagram na pwede mong i-visualize. So, ganitong load pala na 3,200 watts. You need 17 uh, watts, uh, no, 17 pieces na 500 watts panels. Charge controller, 177 amperes. Limang sets na battery na 500 ampere R. Saka, 5, isang 5 kilowatt na inverter. So, from here, ma-visualize mo na yung yung flow ng solar panel solar power okay so that's the end of our uh, content thank you for watching so I hope uh, you learn from this very short presentations regarding solar uh, power calculations for residential so pwede mo siyang i-apply sa, sa bahay nyo if you wish to do uh, solar panel And then, please subscribe para uh, updated kayo sa mga latest video na gagawin natin. Okay, so thank you for watching.